Mistress Ellen Turnham, the maiden of Calcutta. What's the connection? I'll tell you what. Dickens was 45 when he met Ellen Turnham, a graceful, pretty young woman, just 18 years old. At a time when Dickens was getting separated from his wife Catherine, the companionship with Nellie, that's what he called her, brought him immense joy and happiness. In no time, he was passionately in love with a young woman less than half his age. But the affair remained a closely guarded secret, not only during Dickens' own lifetime, but years after his death, until way down into the 20th century. Dickens disappeared to different cities in England and France to spend time with Nelly. In March 1865, he escaped to Paris. On some days, Nelly would be busy rehearsing drama with her sister, Fanny. One of Dickens's favorite pastimes when alone was to visit mobs and cemeteries. On one such occasion, Dickens went out for a stroll to Mamparna's cemetery nearby. Walking among the graves, Dickens saw a pretty young girl sitting on the grass in front of a little monument talking to someone. Since there was no one else, he assumed she was conversing with a dear dead relative or friend. Dickens did not see any sadness in her face. It was calm and pleasant. Touched by this tender sight, he stood behind the girl, but not so close as to make her uneasy. After some time, shedding no tears, but smiling, apparently very happy and comforted, the girl said goodbye and turned when she saw Dickens. Have I disturbed you by my presence? But it do. And to Dickens's utter amazement in English. I am honored to have met the great writer in person. I often visit my grandma, Madame de Telleand, also known as Madame Grand. Was your grandma as beautiful as you are? Find out for yourself from a portrait at Chateau de Versailles. Dear Dickens went the next day in search of Madame de Tolleran. He found the picture, stood before it, and was stunned by its beauty. A lovely, hybrid-looking young woman, tall and graceful, with exquisite fair complexion, delicate color, wavy hair, large blue eyes, small Greek nose, and little mouth with full Redlish. His own girl, Nellie, was not half so beautiful, but she could be if he could make Madame de Tolderon the heroine in his next novel. Wilkie Collins provided Dickens with all the information he needed. The story of a French-born obscure girl, 16 years of age, a scandalous extramarital affair with one of the most influential and powerful statesman, Philip Francis, more than twice her age. Her flight to Paris during the revolutionary uprising, becoming a mistress, wife and princess. It was as if the story of Dickens's own life was transplanted. In his last novel, The Mystery of Edwin Drood, Dickens' abundance social criticism, and concerns himself with human drama. If Dickens were to write the novel he contemplated while watching the portrait of Madame de Tolleron and learning about her life in Paris, he would probably have gone beyond humanity to include romantic vision and sexual passion. Now read Dickens's fascinating and intriguing unfinished novel 
the ma- the maiden of calcutta in www.facebook.com/victorian database thanks